Hey, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And this time we are looking at the Dojo AS Pairing 80mm knife. This line of knives is a core steel of Aogami Blue Paper Super Reactive Carbon Steel from Hitachi. And the heat treat is about 62 Rockwell on that core steel. The construction of this line of knives is a three layer sandwich, so a softer stainless steel cladding on either side of that harder core steel. And the weight on this knife, as you might guess, is pretty darn light at 48 grams, or 1.7 ounces. And the blade length is just slightly under 80 millimeter, a little over 3 inches. The overall length is a little over 7 inches. The spine thickness um, back here above the back of the blade, the chin here, is about 1.95 on this particular sample. And it does have a taper as it goes down towards the tip. The uh, blade height is... On this one's about 18.75, so not too tall. The handle's just a black uh, pack of wood, uh, resin uh, impregnated uh, wooden handle, which is kind of a semi tang, so it's a partial tang. And um, so you can see the tang from the top, and then you can see it goes in only partially, and then the bottom of the handle is solid. So that keeps the weight down to help the balance a bit. Let's take a closer look at this knife. So it's a, it's a very nice looking knife in person. It's got a nice grind from the spine down to the edge. And there are some kanji and other symbols on here and some texture to the blade flats on either side. So it's a nice effect. Out of the box edge on this was okay. It wasn't very, very sharp. I'm going to give it maybe a 3 out of 10. Um, I went ahead and sharpened it and uh, it did sharpen up very very well as you might expect for algami uh, super steel and um, so you can see the blade shape has a fairly pointed tip on it for detail work and here's the spine a close-up of that so it thins out quite a bit right at the tip but carries a bit of that uh, spine thickness in until you get about right in here where it thins out towards the tip and fit and finish is good. It's not superlative, but it's very, very adequately done. Got a little bit of a gap there where the tang goes into the handle. You might want to seal that up if yours has that. So again, this is a partial tang to keep the weight down. Let's take a look at it on our board. Not that you use a paring knife. They're designed more for in-hand work, of course. But let's take a look nonetheless. So here's the curve on a board if you choose to do so. You will see, again, it has a nice pointed tip on it for detail work. In terms of how this feels in the hand, we don't usually deal with balance points too much on pairing knives. It's going to be back here. But in hand, you uh, have a variety of pinch methods. If you can choke way up on the blade and pinch it here, you can hold it further back with a finger grip. You can hold it back here. Uh, you know, you can do this with it if you're doing some in-hand peeling work. So in terms of that, it handles pretty similar to a number of pairing knives, although the uh, bolster part does angle forward, which kind of makes you put your fingers pretty far forward if you're going to pinch it on the blade itself to choke way up for some detail tip work. Just for comparison's sake, let's bring in some other blades um, that are similar. So here is a Takayuki 80 millimeter uh, hammered with a wa, or excuse me, a yo handle instead of a kind of a wa handle. Here is a <clears throat> a Shun a Classic Series uh, three and a half inch. Um, and then here is the Tojiro DP uh, VG10, which is a three and a half inch as well. And you can see the blade shape is quite different on the Tojiro. It's a very flat profile. Uh, the Tojiro and these are 90 millimeters approximately, so they're a little bit bigger. The Shun and the Tojiro uh, versus these are 80, so they're going to be a little bit smaller. In terms of feel in hand, we'll pop in again just for comparison's sake to help you because you can't hold these things. Um, this one's a little bit easier to do a uh, forward detail grip on with by pinching the blade. You've also got a little more blade height on this one 
and you could kind of tuck your finger there, uh, although you're going to get a little iffy in terms of catching yourself on the back of the heel because they are sharpened on this style of blade. The Tojiro gives you a little bit more room for putting your finger right here if you want, and it's also real easy to pop your fingers right here because it's got a small uh, bolster on it and a small diameter handle, so it's pretty easy to choke up on this blade. And again, the handle's very, uh, kind of very narrow. It's narrower than all the rest of these. And then this is the Shun Classic, which is really a wah handle effect, and the bolster uh, curves up, which is a nice spot for your fingers right here to choke up on the blade, so it's quite comfortable for that. Not, you don't want to stick your finger here. There's not much clearance. You can catch your finger quite easily on the back of the blade. This one has a D-shaped handle, but uh, again, it's a, just different feel on each of them. And once again, we'll go back to the dojo. So again, seat of the pants, you've got to kind of, feels like you have to choke pretty high up the blade. You can see my fingers getting close to the tip, which might be really good if you want a lot of detail uh, for your detail work. A lot of precise control. But anyway, so there's a comparison just of some other ones that you can visually take a reference on blade shapes. This one has probably the pointiest blade shape next to the Shun. So again, really nice for great detail work on a pairing. So a little bit longer, but anyway, there's a good look at some comparative uh, pairing knives. So there you have the Dojo Aogami uh, Super pairing knife, 80 millimeter.